Alrighty guys, we are live on this film review session. Let me know if you can hear me, how the audio is all sounding, and thank you guys so much for submitting films. I think that Wedding Film Reviews is one of the absolute best ways we can grow as, oh, give me a second. <laughs> I have double audio running. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I think wedding film reviews are some of the best things that we could do to grow our business as wedding filmmakers because we can get real-life feedback on how our films are doing. We got films by Cara. Hello, Jessica Sunday Films. Hello, hello, hello. And yeah, let's get into it. And then for those of you guys who don't know, I have my course, The Profitable Filmmaker, out right now which is the exact A to Z system on how to make 100K a year as a wedding filmmaker. And that course closes in three or so days. And just for the people on this wedding film review call, uh, if you use the code FF, you will get 10% off that course. And this course goes over everything from the business standpoint of running a wedding film business. So if you really are just feeling like, wow, I just need a solid sales process. I need solid workflows. I just, I want my business to run like a well-oiled machine. Then check it out. Um, I go over sales, workflow, profitability, productivity, marketing, Facebook ads, um, mindset, all the necessary key components it takes to hit that goal. And there's also like, if you're enjoying this wedding film review session we're about to do, there is daily one-on-one -on -one support from me and group coaching calls from me where in a very tiny group over Zoom, so you get to talk, I get to talk with you. We do in-depth, not only film reviews, website reviews, Instagram reviews, packaging and pricing reviews. You're able to actually go through the course and tweak your sales process or your website or your workflow and then submit it to the whole group. And then I get back to you with it detailed just video review of what you can change what you could do differently and as well as other group members come in so if you're just tired of feeling alone in wedding business and you really just want to make 2024 a year where you really raise your prices and hit that 100k goal then check out the course it is theactive.co slash the profitable filmmaker if you um, just go on to my instagram forestry films on instagram and click the link in my bio that is the link for the course and yeah, guys, so you can use the code FF for 10% off and definitely check that out if you are at all interested in the profitable filmmaker and taking your business to that next level and getting very, very in-depth coaching from me. Alrighty, guys, well, let us get started on these film reviews. Let's see. So I sent out an email before I got into these film reviews saying, have you guys submit the your films? And so a lot of people submitted them on Google Forms. And the first film that, hey, what's up, Bryce? How's it going? And so the first film that we have here is, let me pull this up. So the first film we have is by Benoit Films. Well, actually, let me do this. The people that are actually present on this live, in my opinion, should probably get first come, first serve. So if you are watching this right now and you submitted a film, then comment, like just say hello or hi so I can see everyone that's on this live. Because if you submitted a film and you're here, I'm gonna review your films first because you guys, you guys are the ones actually here. And then after I review people that are here, then I can get to other people's films. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds so if you're here and you're watching, just comment here or yes, comment like your company name because I have the whole spreadsheet of films that were sent in and I will start with you guys first. So I'll give you a second to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to get my AirPods going here. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got Jessica Sunday, C. Bryce, films by Kara. Awesome. Okay, yes, Jessica, you submitted a film, and Kara, you submitted a film. So I'm going to do, let's see, let's do Jessica's first because her film, you actually submitted yours first, and then Kara right after. So let's do that. 
Okay, let me get the link here. And then anyone else who's tuning in, just comment that you're here. So that way I know which films to record and review in which order. Okay, let me cue this up. Okay, Jessica, we're about to review your film. Is there anything you want to tell us about this film before we get into it? Any details that you think would be important to let everybody know about the film? Let us know in the comments below. But yes, we are reviewing a film by Jessica at Jessica Sunday Films. I'm going to actually bring that over here. Okay, so now everyone should be able to see this. And then let me know if for whatever reason when I start playing this film you guys cannot see it or hear it. Actually, I'm going to do just a quick little test to make sure the audio is coming through for you guys. So let me do that real quick right now. Once upon a time, our oldest metaphors remind us that life is a journey with an obscure beginning and a happy ending. Okay, so I just started that super fast. Let me know if you guys can hear it. And then if you can and everything sounds good, we will, we will move ahead here. Alrighty guys, and if you're just tuning in, doing wedding film reviews today, and I'm going to try to make it through a good amount. So hang tight, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get into wedding film reviews. I think wedding film reviews are some of the best things we can do to grow our business. Let's see, Jessica says, awesome, one of my first times using a second shooter. Can't think of anything other than it was hard to match the colors. He was Sony and I had Canon. Okay, perfect, let's get into it. make this full screen perfect once upon a time our oldest metaphors remind us that life is a journey with an obscure beginning and a happy ending I love how clear the audio is and it seems like such a simple thing but so often I see films start with more energetic music and then you have ceremony of vows over it and you just can't hear the audio all that well, so I like that. This is a story that defies prediction, yet at times seems inevitable as sunrise. Here we have come together, a particular moment in that story. <laughs> While this is the start of part two, it is not the end of part one, but a reaffirming of it. The day we stand together in the very place the story of Brooke and Chris began. To celebrate those most cherished bonds and those to come. So I love the vibe. I'm loving just like some people are saying, I love the little camera audio. I like how we're feeling present. I would say that it's feeling a little montage -y to me to where we just have like that one audio track from the officiant underneath it and we're never actually seeing the ceremony site. We're just seeing like a bunch of getting ready stuff. I would have loved to hear like, I would have loved the music to dip down substantially and for us to sit in this moment with the bride and her mom that would have been so nice to hear what they're saying. It seems like such a sweet moment. And Jessica, if I were there, because sometimes they don't say anything that substantial, but you can realize that the mom is getting really emotional. I would have let them have whatever moment they're going to have. And then I would have just prompted them and said, hey, mom, like, what are you feeling right now? How much do you love your daughter? Just that simple thing that would allow her to put better words to the emotion she's feeling and that would have gotten just a really solid moment so in the future if you find yourself in a similar moment like this and you know wow this is a beautiful moment but i'm not quite getting the audio that i need prompt the mom and she will, re will really help you there we'll see you. 
Brooke, I love you so much. Ever since our first date night, I knew that you had more confidence and infectious energy than anyone I'd ever met. At the end of sophomore year, we started dating and the time stopped. Okay, so I would say love all these visuals. Fantastic visuals, fantastic authentic moments, great natural light. I think the biggest thing we're missing though is the film is feeling a little disembodied. Kind of like what I was saying at the start, we're hearing all this audio, but we have no faces that we're attaching to that audio. So I know, because we all know, we've, we've seen so many wedding films that we know the person talking right now is the groom. But for a typical audience member, it's like, wait, who's this talking? Is this God? Like, what's going on here? And I would have way sooner attached a visual to the voice that we're hearing. So I would have loved, as soon as we hear the groom start talking, we have a shot from their ceremony of him actually saying that to her. We have her cute little smile, you know, or looking at him really adoringly. That will just make the film feel more attached to reality and not just like a montage or a music video. And so that would be a change that I think could really, really help. I remember all the date nights where I couldn't afford to even buy you a drink. But all that mattered to you is that we were together and smiling. I always just wanted to be the king to your queen or the gym to your Pam. That first real date was only the beginning when it came to you exceeding my expectations for a life partner. You are incredibly smart. You take in all facets of the world and work to understand it. And with that, have opened my eyes to viewing the world with all the potential it has. You are more than my best friend, more than a husband. You are my help. Elizabeth Gilbert wrote, to be fully seen by somebody then, and who loved anyhow, this is a human offering that can border on miraculous. You have seen me at my highest and lowest moments, regardless of the circumstances you have supported and loved me through it all, as though a miracle. You are the first person with whom I felt in love with. You have taught me what it feels like to be truly loved and taken care of. Throughout these six years, you have made life an adventure instead of a scary end. Uh, I would have loved to hear audio there. I would have loved to hear audio there. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, the dearly beloved, may I welcome you to the wedding of Brooke Marie Welsh and Christopher James Condon. We are gathered together in the light of a beautiful spring afternoon to celebrate these two amazing people, their love and commitment, and the beginning of a new chapter of their story. And truly, it is an honor for us all. Today is an occasion for storytelling and story making. An occasion for living and reflecting the experience of living. For you, today is a point on the story of the love so profound it is beyond our ability to give it words. I vow to cherish you to owe my life to you and always be true. I vow to push you to be the best version of yourself, to promise to love you in sickness and in health, in good and bad, is the easiest promise I could ever make because vowing to love you is something I decided when we first met. From this day forward, I vow to be your partner in every sense of the word. I'll be your confidant, your supporter, and your rock. I'll be your loving husband, your best friend, and your soulmate for all the days of my life. For the rest of our lives, I promise to be loyal. I promise to put you before all else. I promise to always appreciate the songs you make up about Pepper, <laughs> to make you laugh when you're taking life too seriously. I promise to be impressed with your kindness and your incredible mind. I promise that I will always fight for our relationship and give my whole self to loving you. I love you, Chris, and I can't wait to start this chapter together with you.
And so it is by the power vested in me by the great state of Georgia that I now pronounce you husband and wife. This is a great shot. I love this shot. I think so many filmmakers would have not had this moment happen in this wide shot, but it's such a beautiful scene. This painting behind the drapes, it's just a unique, fun venue. And so good job on that. Chris, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> So I would say just, I like these decor shots. They're a little shaky. Just try to watch that for next time. I like the song transition though, that were kind of more an upbeat song. Snow, but you keep me warm as the sun. I want to share my life with you cause you're an angel in disguise. I swear I don't want any other and I have wings when I'm with you, my love. And I I would have loved to hear the people cheering here. I think it would have made it feel a little more dynamic, a little more real. extravagant I love yous. It's in her listening, her presence, her companionship, and her loyalty. It's in her gift giving, um, always something thoughtful and perfect. And with Chris, it's in the glances that she gives him, the comfort she finds in him, and the way they have already melded together into a little family. Brooke, I'm so glad you and Chris have found each other. Continue to love and cherish and take care of each other. I know you have only started your lives together, but I also know that this is just the beginning of your happily so you may, um, you may want to consider looking at the Aperture <clears throat> 60X light or something a little more powerful so you can have your lights a little further away and a little higher up so they're not, because I, I think that's the only thing that is a little bit of, uh, of a bummer in this first dance section is the lights are pretty prominent and they're those square lights so they look like film video lights which isn't the nicest look. And so you may want to invest in higher quality lighting that you can put further away so that way it's not as much in the shot. I think that would be nice. Ever since the start, I knew you were a great fit. I know you, you make him very happy, and we appreciate you for that, and I know you will continue to do that. We are very lucky and happy to welcome you into our family. Let's just show these two a great time tonight, congratulate them, and celebrate a great marriage. So. Yeah, I love what uh, Da Vinci said. I love the 24P dancing moments. Yeah, these, 
these dancing shots, Jessica, are are nice, like really good. I feel like I'm in it with them. I think what would have been fun is to split it to where I think great dancing has some 24p moments and some slow motion moments. So it would have been cool. And maybe we'll get there. I'll keep watching it. But it would have been cool to blend the two. Ah, uh, I would have loved to hear some audio of that. Okay, Jessica, thank you so much for sharing this film. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much for sharing this film. I think overall, excellent. Like, I just really got a vibe of who the couple was, their love for one another, so many just naturally authentic moments that happened throughout the day, which you captured really beautifully. I think a lot of your shot choices were really well done. I would say the biggest thing I'd want to see you change in this film and future films is pacing. Um, I think this is a good film, but it could have been a fantastic film if you had strayed away from the linear storytelling. So right now, it's pretty much very obvious in terms of storytelling. It starts with opening shot of the venue, they're getting ready, then we have, you know, first look, then we have ceremony, then it ends in reception, and it's just kind of a straight telling of the day. What I'd like to see you do is change that up. I would like you to even potentially do a hype intro at the beginning. And it doesn't have to be in terms of hype, in terms of energy. But I would like to see a little, like this film would have been, I think, so much stronger in the first couple minutes if in the first minute you kind of summed up the day in a really kind of, you know, a song that fit the wedding day, but it was a very distinctive song and almost music video style. We have some of the best portrait moments, some of the best dancing moments, some of the best authentic moments, and you put almost a little trailer before the film starts. That would have, I felt like you have so many shots that you could have totally done something and just showcase the overall beauty of the day to really pull people in. So that'd be the first thing is the next film, I'd love to see you put like a little intro trailer, something at the beginning. And then second, I would love to see you edit out of order when it feels right because I think the film becomes a little predictable when it's just everything is in order. That would really, really help. And then I would say, I like that the song shifted when it got into the more reception component of the day or the more, uh, there, was, there was a song shift where it got a little more energetic. I think I would have loved to have one more song shift when the dancing started, still in the same key, still in the same vibe as the more energetic song before it, but just something that took the film to another level. I think that would have really been nice to introduce some, just more dynamics into this film. So right now I believe you have two songs, maybe three. It would have been good to add a fourth one. And then I would say nine minutes for this film felt a little long. I think it would have been a much stronger film if you made it a seven minute, maybe even a six minute and 30 seconds. <clears throat> That's always a fun, if I don't have to deliver a nine minute film and I feel like the film's not really as exciting as I want it, I will go make a duplicate of my timeline and literally make a second film just shorter. You'll be surprised how much extra stuff you can cut out. So I would consider that making shorter films. I think that would really, really help. And then really the last thing, the biggest, most obvious improvement that you could probably make on your next film just immediately is a lot of the moments where we should have heard audio to really pull us in. There was no audio. And I feel like that really distanced ourselves from being fully invested in this film. And then also trying to show the main characters talking sooner. It seems like though this was an interesting ceremony setup, so maybe you didn't have angles on them as they were giving their vows, because I don't think 
we got a single shot of them giving their vows, like a close-up of them throughout the whole film. And that could have been a limitation on the day of. So I would say just in the next film, like it seems like you might have only been able to be in the back. I see the camera back there in the shot. And in that case, there's really nothing that you could do. But I would say for a future wedding, say if the venue is like, yeah, you can only be in the back. I wouldn't fight them on that. I would just say, okay. But in that case, I would have taken two cameras. So one could have been a wide shot. And then the second camera could have been a very cropped in shot, same angle. So that way you could have used that for their vow shot. Or what I've also done and heard other people do is they actually have the wedding guests tell them that they have a seat reserved for them as a filmmaker. So that way you actually sit in a seat and you just handhold your camera and you can get really cool vow shots that way with a zoom lens. So that's a way to get around these really crazy venue restrictions. If they're only allowing you to be in the spot in the back, then that's what I would lean into. So Jessica, thank you so much for allowing us to view this film. Loved it, loved watching it. It was, it was just a nice heartfelt film and I love that. And yeah, guys, let's transition to our next film. Okay, let me bring my screen over here. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, David here over at the Active and Forestry. We're doing wedding film reviews. And I'm trying to make these as deep dive as I can. This is literally what I love to do is show up for you guys and help you guys improve as a wedding filmmaker. So if you have just been dying to get some actual constructive feedback on your wedding films, you know, stay tuned for these reviews. And um, I had a bunch of people submit films over a Google form via my email list before, so we're kind of working through those. But I'm giving priority to the people that are actually here on this live stream. So if you're here, let me know in the comments what your, just say, hi, I'm here, put your film company name, and that way I know to prioritize your film since you're actually here. So we're about to get into our next film, I believe, uh, Films by Cara. We're on to hers next leading with the women filmmakers in this wedding film reviews. I love it. And then also for you guys that are just turning, tuning in, my Profitable Filmmaker course is out right now, and the cart closes literally in two days on Wednesday, or on Thursday, on the 28th, and I may not open it up for a whole nother year. So it is my full course, business course on how to make $100,000 as a wedding filmmaker in any market, location, and economy. I cover sales. I cover workflow, profitability, mindset, design, marketing, um, all the necessary key components to really grow a sustainable wedding business. So honestly, if you've just been feeling burnt out and exhausted, like your business doesn't have a system to it, it's not giving you rest, it's not giving you life, and you just want someone to come in and say, hey, it's going to be okay. Here's the exact system to run everything smoothly, like a well-oiled machine to really take that burden off of the business side of things in your business and to know and to trust that you're heading in the right direction and to get group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching from me to review your films, your website, your packages and prices, to have a whole community to where you don't feel alone anymore as a wedding filmmaker. If that is interesting to you, check out the Profitable Filmmaker course and again, the cart closes for a long time in a couple days. And so definitely check it out. And what's really cool is you also get access to all my past coaching calls that are recorded and chapter marked. So you can go through all that old content and see all the questions I've asked and answered and film reviews and everything like that. And so if you want to check out that course, you can go to my Instagram account uh, forestry films and just click the link in my bio and you can see all the information about the course I'll be on live chat there and if you use the code FF you will get 10% off so and feel free to ask any questions about that course but thank you so much Jessica let's uh, move on to Kara's let's see let me look at some of these chats uh, Kara says for mine I had a few issues I was going for <clears throat> Handheld look, but did not have IBIS on for some reason. Also, my second shooter was on Sony. I used Canon, so the color match was a struggle. Yeah. Sony and Canon 
are notorious for being a hard color match. So I feel ya. Okay, let me. <clears throat> okay, Masterson Media is here. Perfect. Nice job having the bride enter on the climax of the music. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. I sent a message about mine above. This is Kara, but also you might not like some of my shakiness shots in the future. I'm going for the handheld look like Jay and Mac or Hello Tomorrow. I love both of those filmmakers, and I think they do the handheld look extremely well. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, also, Second Shooter was on Gimbal. It was not a good mix. Uh, Masterson says, David's courses are awesome. I did Craft 5K back in 2019, and it was a game changer. Can only imagine that the profitable filmmaker is the same way. Ah, oh, appreciate it, guys. Okay, Cara, let's pull up your film. I'm excited for this. Okay, here we go. Guys, I am loving this. I hope you're loving it, too. This is so much fun for me to just... Yeah, go through your films. This is pretty awesome. Okay, let me pull up Kara's. Okay, and then besides the shake, I'm guessing there's nothing else we need to know. And if there is, you can let us know in the comments, but if not, let's do this. Okay. Here we go, guys. Films by Cara, we got Rich and Amanda. Let me just make sure this is actually your film. <laughs> I didn't accidentally pull up someone else's. Nope, yeah, Films by Cara, perfect. Here we go. Okay, let's go. My dearest Amanda, for as long as I can remember, finding love in this world was my greatest pursuit that I knew would become my greatest treasure. I searched and I searched, years gone past, ending in disappointment and loss. That was until, by the grace of God, I met you. I just wanna say I love that ring shot. Um, so often I see ring shots and they feel just fake and forced, but I like that the bride was just kind of playing with her ring. It felt imperfect and natural, and I like that. Rich, I can't believe this day is finally here. I remember walking into my first day of residency and being told you may find your lifelong partner here in this program, and I laughed. Little did I know, the soon-to-be second year that talked to us that day would be the love of my life, and I'd be standing with him here today. So I would say, um, let's see. Oh, the love it. of my life, and I'd be standing with him here today. So this shot, I would probably have cut because just the way her head is turned, it looks a little uncomfortable, and she's kind of like, moving her head awkwardly in but if you like blur your eyes it's a great shot like composition wise but i just think her head position makes it a little awkward <clears throat> i'm so excited for rich i can't wait for him to do an accent during the ceremony can't wait for his jokes oh man i love that you got a little interview of the groomsmen. Like I've never seen that. I've never seen someone not interview the groom, just interview the groom. That's cool. I am excited and I'm nervous. <laughs> There's been a lot of time together leading up to this. It's the biggest day of my life, but it's, it's the greatest day too. And the fact that we got to this point um, means that our lifetime together is going to be the best anyone could ever have. Love that we have that interview of the groom. I just think it brings so much more weight to the story. I think I would have liked 
it to have been a little more off the cuff feeling, kind of like how you got with the groomsmen. Maybe if he was, you know, walking around outside and, you know, kind of like when you see those Vanity Fair, like Tour My Home or Architectural Digest when they have Zendaya or, you know, any celebrity, it feels they're kind of like following them and they're just talking. That could have been a really cool vibe or just like right outside in the field waiting for his first look. I felt it could have been just a little more authentic feeling if he wasn't like sitted down for a formal interview. That could have been really nice. I probably would have cut that shot where the makeup artist is grabbing the brush. You could have just shown these shots and you don't need that like grabbing brush shot. Public speaking makes me quite nervous. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to make this short. <laughs> it is a true joy to stand before you today as my sister's maker nod. I don't remember life before you. From childhood adventures to navigating twists and turns of adulthood, our connection has only strengthened. You've always been my best friend and my confidant. <laughs> I love all those authentic moments, so good. Accomplish your dreams of becoming a doctor. It was a long journey for both of us, but watching you follow your dreams means the world to me. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'll try to. I know you. You look wonderful, too. Hi, Dad. <laughs> we don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, thank you. This is for you. Okay, you want me to open it now? Yes, I do. Savor the memories. So you can pen out your chapter. Good thing I got waterproof mascara on. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Here you go, son. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Love, love you. I love you too. Big day. It's here. Yep. <laughs> I just want to say I love how you just let that moment sit because I think so many of us would have seen that moment with him and his mom and wanted to just put, because she didn't say a whole lot of crazy interesting things, but it was the intention behind what she said. And a lot of us would be tempted to just put music over that and kind of make it a montage moment. But I like how you just let it sit. I just, that's what couples really want to see in their films. And good job on including that moment and just not crazy editing it. What a wonderful gift this is to be in such a beautiful place. And all of you that are here, welcome to watch Richard and Amanda as they join hands today and as they give their lives to each other uh, for the rest of their lives. When you came, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would have included that shot in that moment because you literally have the baby like having an anxiety panic attack, and then you <laughs> then you cut to this really sentimental shot of the groom, and it looks like he like. He's reacting to the baby. <laughs> like the baby's literally dying and then the groom's totally chill and not acknowledging it in the next shot. I would have probably cut that differently, but it's it's funny nonetheless. Came into my life, it was a breath of fresh air. The more time we spent together, the more I realized I didn't have to pretend to be someone to try to impress you. You became the first person who allowed me to shed every layer of insecurity and unashamedly be myself around. I could do this because from the start, you were the most genuine and sincere person I'd ever met. My vow to you is to place God first and foremost in every facet of our relationship, surrendering it to Him to build, strengthen, and reinforce. So I would say 
that shot of her coming down the aisle was a little bit long. Um, felt felt like a little bit like okay, I I'm a little uncomfortable with how slow and long it is. Um, I would probably cut it a couple seconds shorter. For sir, I vow to give my best in holding accountability for maintaining Christ as the cornerstone of our love, because our love is only made perfect through Him. Finally, I vow to unequivocally give you and whatever family we're blessed with all of me, all of my heart to love, all of my strength to endure, all of my body to shield, to give you and our family every last piece of me to protect, grow, love, and cherish forever. I love you for how you support me and Bear through the years. You are truly one of the kindest and most giving persons I've ever met. And this shows every day in how you treat me, your family, your friends, even your patients, and most importantly, Bear. Because of you, I now drink fancy wine instead of barefoot. <laughs> and know that. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit of an odd cut because she said a joke and you heard people laughing, but then you cut to guests that weren't laughing. And so it kind of made that moment just a little awkward because it looks like they're judging her joke and not laughing. So I would have either cut that shot of the guests out there or try to find one of people at least smiling. True joy for sushi. I promise to love you through the good days and the bad days. I promise to always support. I would also say I'm not the fan, not a fan of vows and then overlaying like what you're doing right now, ceremony over ceremony audio, because then it confuses the audience of like, wait, is this B-roll you're showing actual live footage of the ceremony or is this just montage like the shot right before this when it's the officiant and them two facing each other? That was a little confusing because right before that shot, we literally have her at the ceremony saying her vows and your brain starts to think, wait, is this shot just a continuation of what she's saying? Like, is it actually happening live or is this just B-roll? So it's a little confusing. What your dreams and aspirations in life? I promise to try and get my laundry out of the dryer a little quicker. Um, occasionally cook and do dishes. But most importantly, I promise to stand by your side no matter what. I love you. Now, by the authority placed in me as minister of the gospel in the great state of Texas, I am now able to pronounce you, Richard, and you, Amanda, as man and wife. Rich, you may kiss your bride. I love all these authentic reactions here. So good. I would say your color temperature is leaning a little blue, which you already said at the beginning, uh, color is something you're trying to improve at. I would just say when you are getting your white balance in camera, making sure that you know the Kelvin is set correctly. And then if you do have these shots in while you're editing, trying to adjust the white balance to be a little more warm could help these shots feel better. Amanda, when uh, you were born, I prayed to God that he'd make it you like your mother. He answered my prayer and you're so beautiful. And today, you took my breath away. I was so proud to walk you down the aisle. And it's amazing what you and Rich have accomplished at such a young age. Rich, welcome to the family. I hope marriage is rewarding for Rich and Amanda as it's been for me. Rich, you 
now have my daughter's heart. But just remember, she loved me first. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I love that. <clears throat> we had at the end here, we had the cheering. You did a really good job incorporating audio. And I would say just a couple quick notes other than what I already said is I think it would have been nice to spread out these toasts rather than kind of clustering them at the end. The dad speech could have been nice to put right before the first look that she had with her dad. I think that would have been such a great synergy to really just hit that emotion home. And then I think this film does need, I'd say my biggest suggestion would be, I feel like this film needs more of a look color wise, which you already said, but I'm getting a sense of your style and I like how it's more minimal, a little nostalgic, very heartfelt, very, um, simple and it just I f I'm guessing your films are more like that sense of home after a long day it's like that's really what you're trying to lean into I would have loved to see that represented more color wise I think you should consider incorporating super 8 in the future I think you should it would have been really nice to have some black and white moments it would have been cool to show some of the dancing in black and white and in color you might even consider getting an old VHS camera and filming some dancing footage with that. I think little things like that could have really solidified the style because right now I feel like I'm not getting your full heart through this film style-wise, and I would like to see more of that. And so color is going to be a big way to get there. So I would say in addition with Super 8, black and whites, it'd be cool to add just a slight film grain to your shots as well as to find a LUT that is very distinctive and that feels like when I watch a film by Cara film that's that's her look because right now your look is just very clean whereas I would like it to have more of something distinctive about it would be really really nice and then I would also say this film felt a little bit long because even as you were saying you were kind of scrounging around for content so I would say if right now you're telling couples I'll deliver you an eight to nine minute film, you should probably tell people that you're gonna deliver a four to six or a six to eight because I think this film would have really benefited from just a minute or two shorter. I think that would be nice. But I'm just curious, uh, what, what did you charge for this film? I know uh, that's like a fun game to play. I, I guess before before you put what you charge for this film, what do you guys think she charged for this film? And then we could ask her what she actually charged for this film. So I think this feels like a personally, you probably charge be uh, between like 2,500 and 3,500, but I guess I'll, I'll have to make a guess. I'm gonna say like 2,500 for this film and let us know what you included in it. I think that would be that would be um, really helpful to know. And th then as far as the color matching, I actually thought for a good chunk of it, I didn't really notice. I'd say the biggest part that felt the strain of the color matching was the cocktail hour. There was some definite shots where I was like, oh, that's a different camera. <laughs> and so, but overall, I think you did a really good job. Let's see. Cara says I charged seventeen hundred, but now charging twenty two hundred for the package. Oh, Masterson says thirty five hundred to four thousand. Wow. Yeah, Cara, we need to get those prices up for sure. I'm glad that you're now charging twenty two. Honestly, I think you should probably bump this up to at least twenty five hundred for this package. It is totally doable at this quality of work. It's really nice. And with some of those changes that I said that I think would be good for you to implement, yeah, for sure. Let's let's bump this up to 2,500. I think that would be, that feels really nice. It doesn't feel like too much. Just do it. I, th I think you'll, you'll really win in that way. 
Okay, so Masterson Media's Media is also here. Let's move on to yours next. Did you submit a film? Let me let me look here. All right, and hello to anyone who's just turning tuning in. We are doing film reviews and we are prioritizing people who are here on the stream with us to review their films. So Masterson Media, let me see if we have your wedding film here. Let's see, did you submit a film via the Google form? Yeah, Masterson Media, I don't think I have a film by you. Oh yes, I do. Is it um, Masterson Aaron, is that you? D and J wedding highlight film. If that is you, let me know. Oh no, wait. No, yours is Elegant Wedding at St. Ambrose. Jordan and Shayla. Is that you, Masterson Media? If so, let me know in the comments and we will move on to your film next here. Oh yeah, it is Masterson Media. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me know anything that we should know about this film before we dive in to all that good stuff. But right now I'm gonna transition this over. Okay, anything we should know about this film before we get into it? Are we gonna be, um, yeah, anything we should know. Okay, well, I think we're probably good. So I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start playing it. And then if there is anything that we should know, you could just comment it while we're watching it. All right, let's get into it. Jordan. Oh, yes. <laughs> Great font choice. Killer speech setup here. The lighting, the colors, on point. You're a passionate man and deeply in love with my shaming. There's nothing more important to me than knowing that Shayla has a man that loves her. Wow, I'm really impressed by this color. It's timeless, clean, and elegant, and rich greens, beautiful. My father. And the speech setup, come on, man, this is gorgeous, this is nice. Although she's kinda, <laughs> this girl right here is, is not happy. She's like, you better watch out, I'm about to punch you in the face. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe crop her out, but. For the best. When your children find the true love, their parents find the true joy. Fantastic speech from the dad. You could tell he's really emotional. I would have increased his audio. It was a little low because he was already talking kind of low. It would have been nice to hear just done a little bit of EQ to beef it up. Made it through without crying. <laughs> kind of. I love him. And he's going to be coming down the aisle, and he's going to be crying, and then I'm going to cry, and then my dad's going to cry. Yep. My mom's going to be hyperventilating. Yes. Okay, so that's, Carl, when I was telling you, like, that's the type of interviews I love to see is where it feels a little more off the cuff. You could tell probably Masterson asked, asked him a question like, how are you going to be feeling? But it felt very natural because he was standing, he was telling someone else what he would be like. Let's try to do more stuff like that. Love it, Lo love that. Jordan, you've been a beaming light ever since you entered Shayla's life. You are full of energy. I admire your dedication to family and how you have so seamlessly fit into ours. Dude, you're just knocking, knocking this out of the park. 
And so I may be talking about, <laughs> I, I'm more going to be using your film as an example to what other people can do as they're watching this because you're doing so many things right. And I just hope this is encouraging to you. So guys, when I talk about nonlinear storytelling, this is what I mean. So you notice he started with the speech and the bridesmaid is talking about why she loves the groom so much. And what they did here so effortlessly and beautifully is they wove in moments of the groom throughout the day, non-linearly, of him laughing during him getting ready, him dancing at the reception, him doing something midday, and they layered all that over what the bridesmaid is saying. So again, it's non-linear, and it's more tracking with the emotion of what the speech is saying. The emotion is he's such a great guy. So let's show a bunch of shots of him being a great guy over that, and that is a great way to do non-linear. And also, what I love about this first minute is there's a build and a climax within the first minute. So it starts off really sentimental, really sweet. Like, Cara, we could have done a similar thing with your film where we could have put the dad's speech at the beginning because it was so sentimental. And then we could have had it climax to his first look with his daughter and we could have put in all these portrait fun shots and then we could have tapered it off to the rest of the film. So that's kind of what you want to do in your films is you want to have a mini build and climax within the first minute, minute and a half, two minutes. And then you go on to the rest of the film, which also has a separate build and climax. And by having double climaxes in your films, you make them so much more interesting, engaging, and more dynamic to watch through. You know, we have prayed a lot about this moment, a lot of patience, a lot of trust in the Lord, and a lot of support from each of you. And we are so eternally grateful. Let us all wish them a home filled with much love, understanding, compassion, happiness, and prosperity. Here's your future. I love that we you put in like car audio for this drone shot. It made it that much more believable. Wedding day for my dearest granddaughter, Shayla. May we all come with a special heart for each of your own individual intentions, but also for a happy life for Shayla and Jordan. Shayla. I cannot wait to marry you today. I cannot wait to be by your side tomorrow, and I cannot wait for every chapter that we are going to write. I am so excited for what today means and as a starting point for the family that we will build. I promise to make sure that we stay in this crazy love with each other, and I promise to continue to grow the fire for the rest of our lives. I love you, Shayla, and I will see you at the end of the aisle. Love, Jordan. Dear Jordan, Words cannot adequately capture the true, genuine love that I have for you and the way your love has touched the depths of my soul. You are everything that I've prayed for plus more. Since the moment I met you, I felt captivated by your warm, calm, and steady presence. And through the past three and a half years, you've shown me time and time again that grace, comfort, and rock-solid steadiness that I so very much needed. You are one in a million, my love. I'll see you at the aisle. All my love. Shayla. As I reflect back on our sisterhood, I'm grateful for sharing in life's more monumental moments, but also for the daily life occurrences. <laughs> Shayla, you've been one of life's greatest blessings, and I'm standing here today in awe of you all grown up and the woman you are, Marion Jordan. It's going to be a great next chapter and a bright one. So who could better compliment this magnetic energy and one of a kind sister of mine? Here enters Jordan Lee Schultz. Jordan has always been an ideas guy. Shayla, Jordan going all in with you has been his best idea. We, we met you and instantly we saw how natural and how easy it was and how you guys clicked. You two are truly perfect for each other. 
Come on in, Dad. Well, this afternoon, we've gathered here today to witness the wedding of Jordan and Shalem. What does remind us of what we have in common and what brings us joy? Weddings unite two families and two sets of friends. And you, you are united because of the love and commitment of Shayla and Jordan. What is important today is that this ceremony is a beginning to celebrate not a wedding, but a marriage. Really good job. Like, I could see you kind of being constrained to the Catholic wedding near the middle of the film. It felt like, okay, we are, we are in this Catholic church for a while and it felt a little bit like, Oh, I'd like to see some footage outside of it. But I think you worked around it pretty well where you chose a song that had some dynamics to it. And so the, that violin kind of that more intense music came in at just the right moment and it produced that build for her coming down the aisle. So really good job there. I like how you showed a lot of the people coming down the aisle, but you cut it in such a way with the efficiency kind of homily at the beginning that it it worked pretty it, it worked pretty well. I, Jordan, take you, Shayla. I, Jordan, take you, Shayla. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. I, Shayla, take you, Jordan. I, Shayla, take you, Jordan. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. Poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Shale and Jordan Schultz, united in holy matrimony. You may kiss your husband. <laughs> six years at this point, I've learned a few things that I'd like to share. Marry your best friend. You've obviously already done that. But I can't wait for you guys to get deeper into it. Trusting someone completely can be tough, but if you're willing to open yourself up to it, it's truly an amazing thing. Shayla, you're truly a beautiful soul inside and out. You have a lively, energetic spirit that lights up a room when you enter it. You are intentional and compassionate to each individual you encounter and are able to connect to a core of a person, making them feel seen and heard. In a short time, you will have your first dance with Jordan. At that moment, you will have a new dance partner, a man who is bonded with you. As I'm curious, what lights are you using? They. They look really nice on just all the reception stuff. Like I loved all that decor stuff, this first dance section. I love how you layered the first dance over. I mean, the dad just teed you up perfectly. He talked about the first dance, then you're showing the first dance. Fantastic. Devoted, loving husband and future father. I'd like to give a toast from the song to life from our family's all-time favorite musical, Fiddler on the Roof, to prosperity, to good health and happiness, and most importantly of all, to life. Cheers, everyone. A 
Okay, very good there. You you changed up the music to go with the reception, but then you had that reception music also have a build. Great job. I mean, I think this is a stunning film. This is really, really well done, especially considering it was a Catholic wedding, and I know those are always hard, especially to make a longer film, like that eight to nine minute mark, without those handwritten vows, and you you did this very masterfully, I think, for a Catholic wedding, and it could have... Yeah, I think it was a good length. And what you said about, oh, the lighting where she sees her dad for the first time, I don't think that was a problem at all because I think too often as filmmakers, we try to make things too fake to where if, say, a first look happened in a room like that, we might over color correct and try to take all the orange and the fluorescentness out of the room. Whereas I think we really need to just lean into the authenticity. I think. I think it felt even better that it was in the basement and hear me out here is if it was set up outside, like all green, like we see in most wedding films, I think it would have felt a little fake. I think I'm getting almost a little tired of seeing like a first look with dad in the perfectly lit scenario. Not to say there's not a time or place for that because sometimes it could look gorgeous, but there's just something about it being so off the cuff with bad lighting with just a cramped room, I think it makes the emotions from the bride and the dad that much more meaningful because they know this is just a real moment and you can feel it. So yeah, that scene was actually one of my favorite scenes and I wasn't even thinking about the lighting there because uh, the emotion kind of took over and how you did it. Let's see, Danish. Da Vinci Visuals said, one of the best Catholic films I've seen. Yeah, definitely one of the best ones I've seen. And also wanted to say, I love your font choice. I think I already said that. The FX3 is showing up in full form here. Just makes me want to buy an FX3. And let's see, I'm guessing how you're getting this lighting is you're having the speaker looking directly at the bride and groom and they're at the head table and you have a light behind the speaker coming in from right here. And then I'm guessing that light is also lighting the bride and groom who are right here. And there's a light coming from behind the bride and groom, which is backlighting them and also lighting him. Is that how you're doing it? Uh, yeah, so this basement scene wasn't even thinking about the color or the lighting. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, great speech set up here. The candles are fantastic. I would say the intro and the outro were your strongest parts. It got a little slow in the letter reading and a little slow in the Catholic ceremony part. And I would say the only way to fix that would have been a two minute shorter film. I think it would have been stronger as a seven minute film, hands down. Although you might have had to deliver a nine minute film. And that's only because I felt like those two sections had a little more extra stuff that we didn't really need for this story to hit as home as it could have. But other than that, 
excellent, excellent, excellent job. Let's kind of click through here. Okay, exactly right on the speech setup. Perfect. Love all this. This looks so beautiful. Yeah, great job. I can't I can't think of what so what do you guys think he charged for this? I'm going to guess. I mean this this is uh, I hope I hope that you charged at least 6500 for this. I hope. Um if not, we need to raise your prices yesterday. So I'm going to guess I'm going to guess 6500 and I hope even more, but uh, Kara says 6,000. Okay. What do we, what else do we got? What do we think? Uh, Da Vinci, what do you think he charged? Zeus films? What do you think he charged? I don't know if Jessica is still here with us, but we got a 6,000. I'm going to vote 6,500. Um, let's see if we got any more guesses here from people. Okay, Masterson, let us know what you charge for this. And let's see what we got here. Um, so yeah, Masterson said exactly right on the speech setup where he had the light behind the speaker and then a light behind the bride and groom and they were both lighting each other, which is a fantastic, oh, call it captivation. We are here as well. What is up, guys? I second 6,500. Uh, Moved a light to be more cross light for the dances. Love it. Lighting various details in a large room like that was trickier. No, I think you did a great job lighting it. And that's also why having those strong lights are so important because I noticed your lights were far enough away to where they weren't really taking over the dance floor. And that's kind of what we want in our films. We want the lights to be more background characters. Yes, Masterson says it was just north of 7,000. Okay, so around 7,200 or so, 7,300. Perfect. I would even say let's, you could, you could charge more for this. I think like seven is, is fair, but I think with the right kind of package structure and maybe even potentially including certain things or, I think this could push eight really easily. And so you may want to consider raising your prices another 500. I think this could definitely be an eight film. And you may even want to consider doc edits, full ceremony and toasts. Maybe if you have this middle package, which has all this, maybe including a doc edit and then just having it start at nine would be pretty awesome. So yeah, really, really good job here. The only, I would have loved I'm, I'm really nitpicking here. I love the dancing footage on the dance floor, but I would say it was a little too bright for my personal taste to match just the luxury vibe you're really going for, like the vibe that we see in the reception details. I would have personally asked the coordinator to turn off some of the lights for the dancing, like some of the ambient lights. I think that would have really made it just that extra luxe feel. And then what I would have also said is some of the shots of the band members feel a little flat to me. I would have loved, again, the lights to be off. I would have loved just for more of a moody light setup of, especially when you're filming some of the band members, they felt like they were in a bright fluorescent room. And there could have been nothing you could have done there. And this is, again, me nitpicking. And so just something to think about for next wedding. I think we are the most expensive in Iowa right now know a couple that are similar, but working on pushing the market upward. That's actually a really good place to be in. If you are the most expensive and the best, you can continue to raise your prices because it's kind of like Apple, right? In a lot of categories, they are the most expensive and the best, but because they're the best, they can keep raising their prices. And if people want the best, they're going to buy Apple. So I would encourage you to think about a little bit less about what other people are doing and just say, my goal is to be the best. And if couples, couples who want the best, they hire Masterson Media. And if you take that frame of reference, you should be able to raise your prices substantially. 
Yeah. Excellent point about asking the venue to turn down the extra lighting. Yeah, I think that would have made a huge, huge, huge difference. And then probably the only other suggestion that would have been a nice add to this film. And again, I just want to emphasize excellent film, like beautiful. I think I've already said that one of the best Catholic weddings I've seen. I'm just trying to give tips to take it to that next level if you really want to be the best. I feel like one of the things this film was missing was more interesting cinematic artistic portraits with the couple. I feel like the portrait shots that I saw were kind of basic, you know, kind of just them walking away from an old car, them standing between pillars. There was no portrait shots that felt like, whoa, that is art. That's beautiful. And I would say that's kind of what the film was missing, just a little bit of that. And even more just authentic portraits with them. I would have loved to, I don't know, just see some fun stuff of her running away with her dress, you know, behind her. And she kind of looking back and smiling. Some more, just some more fun, some more risk taking with your portraits would have been nice. Um, this one booked you back in 2200. We booked a couple for 8 to 9K for this year too. Let's go. Excellent point about asking. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, so I think we might have time. We might have time for one more film. Even though that, I feel like that, that could even be a good place to end it. But let's see, we have Call It Captivation and Zeus Films here as well. Let's see, Call It Captivation, did you submit a film? Let me see if I have a film from you on that Google form. I don't think I have a film from you. If you are on this live stream and you submitted a film via the Google form I sent out yesterday to my email list, then definitely let us know. And we will end, I think we got time for one more film and then also if you're watching this and you're just like wow this is amazing I want to be part of the next one join my email list go to theactive.co and I every time I do one of these live streams I send an email where I have you submit films that you want me to review and so if you want to be reviewed for the next time we do this definitely do that because on YouTube unfortunately I don't have the ability I don't think if you post a link on the YouTube chat it'll show up for me so the only way for me to get your films in is to have you guys submit it beforehand via this Google form. Okay, let's see. Let me bring up me again here. Alrighty, guys. So Call of Captivation, if you wanted to, if you could just put the title of a film in the chat and I could look it up on YouTube, um, I do have the ability to do that. If your films are on the YouTubes, I can call it Captivation. Is your channel on? Yeah, call it Captivation Films. I actually have your film page pulled up if you want us to look at a film. I got, yeah, let, let us know. I, I see, let's see, what, six, seven films on your page? Um, yeah, I have a story that goes beyond for love, intimate, chic, and breathtaking backyard wedding, a heart full of promises, bride and groom dance in tropical storm, whimsical heartfelt wedding, and if I knew forever was waiting for me. Do you want me to check out any of those? You don't post there that often? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, maybe, maybe, um, maybe for next time if you don't want me to take a look at any of those films. You can try Molly and Adam. Okay, let's see. Molly and Adam. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's give let's give this a shot. Okay, guys, one more film review here, kind of squeezing in one. Let's pull this up. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna do Molly and Adam. Let's let's go for it. You're here. Let's make it happen. Okay. Here we go. Transition this over. Okay. 
Okay, let's go here. We got a heart full of promises, a lifetime to keep them. Molly and Adam, the orchard. Orchard at Wedgwood. Okay, let's play through this. Okay. Molly. I'll never forget the day you entered into my life. The world faded away as your face came into view. Wow, she's beautiful. My plan was to leave, but then I didn't. Not sure why we stayed, but God had a plan. At that moment, I realized we're on God's time. We talk, we laugh, we joke, we talk trash. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I skipped it. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I clicked on it. <laughs> I clicked on a random video. I am so sorry. Okay, give me. Let me, let me, let me switch this. What just happened? Okay. We're, we're pausing. We're pausing. I accidentally clicked on a Barbie video background. What the heck is going on? I was like, uh, all of a sudden this film got three hours long. That's not what was supposed to happen. Okay, we're gonna go back. It's okay. We're not panicking. Um, let me see here. Okay, give me one second. The streaming platform is not letting me change this for some reason. Okay. Mm. Give me a second, guys. Here we go. We're just gonna do it this way. Okay, I got it back up. We're gonna transition this over again. Here we go. Molly, I'll never forget the day you entered into my life. The world faded away as your face came. The audio sounds great. I'm in a view. Wow, she's beautiful. I would have cut that hand shot of it going up just a little shorter. It was a little long, a little uncomfortable. My plan was to leave, but then I didn't. Not sure why we stayed, but God had a plan. At that moment, I realized we're on God's time. We talk, we laugh, we joke. This shot of her hand is a little strange. It looks a little creepy. Like something with the lighting and the desaturation. I would have probably cut that shot. We talk trash. You show me your college highlights, not realizing that every picture and video you share from there on out will be our highlight, the highlight of my life. This shot was a little weird, just like his hand motion. <laughs> like a slow a slow wrap around the butt kind of feeling I would have probably I would have probably done probably done a different shot here with the pandemic we were told to separate but we grew closer oh this is beautiful man the light coming in from the corner the veil gorgeous hanging out in the park dog day at the beach and our sushi place will always be special the best part of my day was calling you. Our late night phone calls, falling asleep, hearing your voice. I begin to realize I love you. At times, our lives would be full ups and downs, but I know I could never be down as long as I have you around. In high seas and in low seas, we'll always be there for each other. There's no other person I want to experience life with. My best friend, my love, I vow to stay true to every single word. I vow to be a great husband and father when that time comes. I vow to be with you as long as we stand underneath the same sun. Molly, 
I love you, and I'm so lucky to be able to have you in my life, my heart, my soul, and now as my wife. I really like these. I probably would have, his smile was a little weird. Maybe it would have just been nice if he just looked at the camera like a little straight face. That would have been, I think, a little more natural. Adam, you are the love of my life, my absolute best friend, and my big saddie hubby. The way you entered my life was so organic, so honest, so true. It's a love story unlike anything I could have ever imagined. And what may have seemed like a short amount of time to outsiders felt like something different. Immediately from the start, we clicked and our lives just made sense together. Not only did it make sense, but for the first time I met someone who makes me better, challenges me, and always matches my effort. I will forever cherish the memories from those early days getting to know each other. This time was healing for me and reminded me what it felt like to feel again <laughs> and to not be ashamed to care. Your thoughtfulness really shined through and these moments laid such a strong foundation of friendship that still holds true today. You are the first man to enter my life and actually add to it. You're the kind of man that makes everyone feel special around them. You bring light to every room you walk in. You are the embodiment of what our future little girl will hold as a standard for a man and the kind of man our future son will strive to be like. I promise that in high tides, when all feels right, and in low tides when nothing makes sense, to be present in the moment, speak life, love you with my whole heart, and put the good of our relationship and family over myself till death. These things I promise you, I love you forever. When you're someone Molly loves, you know it. She gives gifts, she makes intentional time for you, and is the most thoughtful person I have ever met. And I knew it was gonna be hard to find someone deserving of the love that she gives and someone who could reciprocate it back. Then along came Adam. Molly finally met her match. Fate would cross their paths at a happy hour. Now all of a sudden we hear a very interesting toast that goes on. I'm not gonna go into what that toast was about. Great moment of the groom. I would say here the color is a little, the white balance is a little off, a little desaturated, a little bluey in, in the whites. That would just be something I would, I would look out for. But I do know you did this wedding like five or six months ago, but just keep an eye on some of that white balance. <laughs> but we heard an interesting toast. And going into his character, what does he do? Offers to buy a drink. Even as I was sitting back and looking and watching, it was interesting because I saw Molly I was like, okay, beautiful young lady. And as I looked at Adam, I just saw the wheels turning. Because, man, beautiful, educated, and got a dog. It's a wrap. It's over. <laughs> it is what it is. Watching you finally get what you deserve. You deserve every bit of this love. You deserve to be uplifted, cherished, adored, and so much more. You are truly the best human that I know. And I'm forever grateful. I'm feeling so blessed to experience what I believe is one of the greatest gifts on earth, and that's to watch one of your best friends be loved the way that you love her. Your love is one for the ages. True good love like yours changes everyone. And we are so, so lucky, all of us, to get to be a part of that love story.
Man, guys, that was that was a really beautiful film, um, especially just that ending shot with the slow push in and they're just looking at the camera, the lighting. Ooh, it's nice. And then like just the little light leaks in the back with their names. Really well done. Let's say you said this was the first wedding having my wife jump in second shooting. It was really hard to teach us coach and get the shots I wanted. Also, I struggle so much with cloudy, uneven lighting, white balance. Yeah, I would say that was the biggest thing I would like to see you work on is white balance. I would say that was one of the biggest things that kind of took me out of the film, mainly in the ceremony and in some of the portraits. The, yeah, I just say throughout the film, the white balance was off in a lot of the outdoor shots. So I'd work on that. And then there was just, I would just also work on cutting your shots a little shorter, not feeling the need to, oh, this is an amazing shot. I need to keep it on the screen extra long. Because I would say a lot, some of the shots as we're kind of going through, they would have just been punchier, more interesting if they were just one or two seconds shorter. But I mean, brilliant vows from the couple and letters. Like I, I forgot that we we're doing wedding film reviews for a second because I was invested in this couple's story and I felt like my heart was going, oh my goodness, this is the cutest most beautiful like story ever you could just tell that this couple genuinely loves one another and not just them but their family sees it they're uplifting them they're encouraging them and i almost have to apologize because i was like so invested in the film that i forgot like oh yeah i gotta be watching this and reviewing <laughs> reviewing it but i think that's just a testament to what a really good job you did capturing the essence of who they are I think my favorite part of the film was just this ending sequence. I don't know why, but just what this, the people who were giving toast said, I would just connected so well with, and you had people dancing and having fun. It just felt extremely heartwarming. I would say the speeches felt maybe just a little disconnected because there was a lot of this happening where they would turn their back to the camera and address them and then you're like ah you know i'm not connected anymore to the speaker so a really good way to solve this if you didn't i mean the best way to solve it was to do what masterson did where you have the speaker talking to the bride and groom but then the speaker would be facing away from the guest so you don't always want that so a way to solve that is you could have a mic stand right here so that they are beside the bride and groom so at least if they turn their their back isn't completely to camera but it's they're just turning to the side that would have been nice and i also love the intro with kind of the film leak and that was really well done the only thing i would say is this logo that comes up the c that didn't match the high quality vibe of the rest of the film so i would I would have taken out that logo or redo your logo to just better match how high end the rest of this film feels. So what what did you charge for this? I'm going to guess I'm going to guess 35 maybe I'm going to guess 30 yeah I'm going to guess uh, I'm going to say 39.95. Hopefully I'm wrong. But 39.95 let me know what you did charge for this. And while you are getting that up there right now, I'm just kind of clicking through, seeing if I notice anything else. Yeah, this was kind of another shot where the white balance was a little, a little bit off. And I would have probably had him put his jacket on so that we were not just like focused on the mic. 3,700, okay. Wow, it's pretty pretty close. So, yeah, I would say if you can get your white balance fixed up and you can really just get your white balance fixed up, let's bump this to 39.95. I think this film feels that feels right for this quality of film. And I would say if you keep producing work like this and keep just making your coloring more on point, kind of fixing some of those speech things, uh keep doing this very artistic just different type of portraits that we're seeing i think you could get to 45 pretty quickly so let's try to get to 
with just some of those simple little changes. And then I think getting a 45 should be in your direct sites because this is great work. And so I think 45 should happen within the next year for sure with, um, with this kind of storytelling structure that you're doing. So really, really good job. Thank you so much for letting us take a peek at this film. And yeah, so guys, thank you so much for coming to this wedding film live stream. And like I said at the beginning, the Profitable Filmmaker course is out right now. And if you use the code FF, you get 10% off. And its own enrollment is only going to be open for the next two days. So if you're interested in hopping on that, click the link in my Instagram bio, Forestry Films. Uh, you, can, you can get the link there and you can find out all the information about this business course. It has one-on-one coach or it has group coaching it has mentorship by me it has how to do sales profitability workflow mindset design all the necessary key components to have not just a successful profitable business that makes 100k plus a year but a business that is full of rest and gives you life and gives you and your family and the ones you love life as well so click the link in my instagram bio check out that course use the code ff for 10 percent off and i will see you guys in the next live stream.